uh, way to store a mask for later use. Yeah, you can go into your layers. Um, and layers should... Now, I I don't use layers a whole lot, but you should be able to store uh, masking information within layers. You can also, if you're so inclined, this is an alternative to that. I'm going to go ahead and clone this off. So what you can do is, on your poly paints, let's go to texture off. You can go through here, you can hold down, um, you can just paint, or you can um, turn this off here. You can have a mask, and then uh, you can convert this mask to a poly paint here. So if I just invert that and fill that with black, now I've got a texture map. Um, that's kind of a, a long way around your question here. So if you're not going to use layers, you can go to texture new from poly paint, and then you can go poly paint from texture. And then now that you've converted that poly paint to a texture, you can go down here to your masking menu. And of course you can make macros for this, or you can make a custom menu for this type of work. You go here to masking, you can do mask by color intensity, I think. And now when we turn off our poly paint, you're gonna see we have a mask. <laughs> Roundabout way to get it, but that's a, another uh, option for you.